So, Chuck, yeah. did we ever have a conversation about leap days? I don't, you know, I have a vague that, memory, but maybe it just slipped into other explainers. I was going to say we've discussed it, but not specifically. Not on its own like, terms. It's not like, son, I'd like to talk to you about leap days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, come on. <laughs> The time has come. The time so you're we old need, enough. We need kids. You're old enough now to know about leap days. <laughs> uh, people s seem to be mystified by it. Right. The day just shows up in the calendar. Yeah, well, because, yeah. And it seems very arbitrary. It seems does feel arbitrary, yeah. like some uh, high council yes. decided right. that the February needed a day. Exactly. Right. It's very simple. Very simple. Okay. Okay. So the time it takes Earth to spin once on its axis, what do we call that? A day. A day. Are you sure? I'm. Um, well, it should be. It should be. <laughs> why not? I mean, so, why okay. not? Like, okay. Yeah. So it's a day. That's a day. Okay. Earth also goes around the sun. Right. How long do we, does that take? That's about a year. About a, it, it takes exactly a year. Okay. Exactly a year. All right. That's the definition of a year. Of a year. There's no law in the heavens that requires the rotation of the Earth. Okay to divide evenly into, into the time it takes around Earth the sun. Around, goes around the sun. That's true, okay. They're, they're yeah. totally unrelated phenomena. Right, okay? right, exactly. So we count days by rotation of the Earth. Right. We count years by revolution, revolution around, around the, the sun. sun. And it turns out a year lasts 365 of these things plus one fourth of a turn. Okay, a quarter turn. It's 365 days and six hours. Six is a fourth of 24 hours, right. okay? Yeah. That's how long it takes Earth to go around the sun. What are you gonna, that's, are you, are that's you gonna too have a, much. Uh, that's too much. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do with the six hours? Right, it's too much. Right. <laughs> By the way, it's six hours this year, and then the next year, it's six hours added to the previous six right. hours. Now you got 12 hours now that you, you don't know what to do with. Right, so it's a half a day. Are you gonna celebrate the new year on a moving six-hour platform, I'm, that I'm thinking about. That. No, no, it's interesting. I'm right? kind of thinking about that right now. You don't celebrate midnight. You celebrate yeah, like six, six in the morning. Right? Oh no, forget it. it then again, it, that depends. That's a hell of a party. <laughs> That's a hell of a party, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> so the first of those years, you celebrate at six a.m. Right. Next year, twelve. This is on the three hundred sixty-sixth day, right. right? And the next year would be like six p.m. Right. All right. And then the next year, back at midnight. Yeah. Okay. I'm just saying. That'd be kind of a. Uh, that'd be kind of cool. It could be kind of dope. Yeah, that would be kind of dope. <laughs> just like yeah. Uh, what, to, what time is New Year this year? <laughs> right. So, in order to not have to do that, right? The let's go back to ancient Rome in oh. the Julian calendar. Okay. They figured this out. Uh, of course. And they, they said, let's pocket those six hours. Right. Don't tell anybody. Right. Okay. And we just celebrate the New Year early. Six hours early, but nobody knows. But nobody knows. It's just a complete day. You do right. it at midnight. We're we're good to go. Right. Okay. You pocket that. There you go. Next year that goes sounds, by. Sounds so much like the Roman Senate. <laughs> the, the first year goes by. You pocket the six hours. Right. Second so year goes by. Pocket, pocket the six another six. Third. Pocket the six. We're up to six, twelve, eighteen hours. The pockets are getting full. The fourth year comes around. You don't pocket that. Right. Because now you got a full twenty four hours. Twenty four. You put the day back in the calendar. Boom. There you go. There it is. Look at that. The leap day. Empty your pockets on that day. Every four years, you're throwing a leap day. And you give it to the neediest month. Right. Okay. Exactly. I mean, why not? Right. Which, of course, is Black History Month. That's the neediest month. <laughs> I think month. in ancient Rome, it wasn't Black History Month yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it was. <laughs> It was Slave History Month, right? Right, exactly. The Romans For all, everybody, because I don't care who you were in Rome, you was a slave. You know what I mean? You're like, wait a minute, man. Is, is that a white slave over there? Hey, brother, this is Rome. So there you have that. That is the fundamental origin of a leap day. Right. But here's what happened. Okay. It turns out it takes a little less than 365 days and six hours to go around the sun. Oh, God. It's not an exact six hours. Of course, well, it couldn't be right because that would be make too much sense. It's a right that would make too, that would be too, be too easy. It, that even that would be technically evenly divisible right. by like a whole number of hours. Exactly, it's a little bit Just less. A little. Romans didn't know this, right? Of they, course, they didn't know this. Well, can you blame us? We're using sundials, <laughs> sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you and your fancy astrophysical uh, atomic <laughs> clocks. <laughs> what happened then over the centuries? 
there were days accumulating that were not accounted for. Oh, they lost days. No, no, no. They would. Yeah, yeah. The days yeah. that should have been reckoned, reckoned and were not. And they were not. Okay. So. <laughs> all right. So the consequence of this is that key moments in the calendar related to like the universe end up shifting. Right. So the first day of spring, the vernal equinox, March 21st. Right. Over the centuries became March 20th, and then March 19th, right. and then March 18th, oh. March 17th, right. March 16th, right. March 15th. Oh. And they were just living with it, yeah. not figure what what, what is happening in the spring, guys? <laughs> spring is a spring is just <laughs> sprunging all over the place. <laughs> we no. can't have spring sprung in February. <laughs> right. It was marching its way early in the calendar, century by century. Right. Okay. This was a concern. Why? Right. Because the Julian calendar with its rules for Easter, 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 because Christianity was now in charge, right. okay? So Easter, the definition was, Easter is the first Sunday right. after the vernal equinox. Right. Pope Gregory, we're now in like the late 16th century, so 1580s, All right. Pope Gregory notices that Easter is moving with the equinox, because right. it was defined by the equinox. Right. And there was a risk that Easter would land on Passover. Oh, we can't have can't, that. Can't have that. Oh, you know you can't have that. It was that. hard enough to get people who were might have otherwise been Jewish to be right. Christian. Exactly. Okay. Like, uh, yes, exactly. Your eminence, I believe the Jews have a plot. <laughs> <laughs> to ruin Easter. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you, you can't have that. Plus, think of what effort it took right. to call Sunday the Sabbath. He's noticing this and said, we've got to fix this. So he gets his smartest folks in his contingent. Wait, the Pope has scientists? Yes. Get out. Yes. Serious. Serious. Pope's Highly educated scientists. Okay. Pope. To this day, there's a Vatican observatory. Did you know that? I did not know that. Yes. The Popes, and who are they? They are the Jesuits. The Jesuits are the uh, academic okay. order among the orders of Christianity, nice. of, of Catholicism. Uh, Catholicism. Okay. okay. So, Jesuit priests. Yes. And so they founded many of the Catholic uh, universities that persist to this day. Right. Okay. For example. Right. Okay. He tasks them to say, fix this. They study the movement of the sun, moon, and stars in the sky. And they say, we have not been properly reckoning leap days. And they conclude extra leap day had accumulated every hundred years. Okay. Okay. That's too many. And, and that was not reckoned. And that that shifts the vernal equinox backwards in the calendar. Okay. All right. In order to fix this, they said, all right, let's jumpstart it. Put put the equinox back on March 21st. You got to put it back there. Okay. That's where it belongs. And what you do with autumn days? I don't know. Okay. By then it was on March 10th. Wow. Okay. So in October, o 1582. October now. October. Okay. Okay. They're saying, time to jumpstart the system. All right. So they took 10 days out of October. Look, dude, you're the Pope. You have the power to do I'm, this. I'm going to say that's too much power for one man to have. <laughs> just like, guess what, October? <laughs> <laughs> you just got cut. <laughs> I'm sure the Pope sounded exactly like that. Just, <laughs> like angry black man. Yeah. Right, guess what, October? <laughs> Dominus is spit or two. Half the month is gone. Right. Ten, a third of the month is gone. And you know why? Because that's when we owe rent. <laughs> so they took 10 days out of October. Dang. So October like 15th followed October 4th. Okay. Did I get wow. do my numbers right there or something yeah, like that? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. And you have to like, I don't know if that was the invention of amortization, but how do you decide what rent to pay? Right. You have to sort of get the fraction of the month, yeah, yeah, multiply, yeah. divide, exactly. multiply by your rent by yeah. the fraction, and that's what you pay. Okay. We still stay with the four year rule, except every hundred years, which is still divisible by four. Right. Because 100 is divisible by, by four. four. Every 100 years, we take out the leap right. day that would otherwise be there. There you go. And now we're, now, now we're balancing out. We're balancing out. Nice. Okay. Nice. However. Okay. The Jesuits were badass. All right. They said, that undercorrects it. That undercorrects it by a little bit. Okay. I got to tell you, this, this moving New Year's Eve thing is looking <laughs> real good right now. <laughs> so if you look at the undercorrection, now it's going to happen on an even longer time scale. So what you find out is, at what rate have you undercorrected it? Every 400 years, you got to put a leap day back in. Back in. Because uh -huh. 400 years is still on a 100-year cycle. Right. But every 40, you got to put it back in. Now, who is alive to remember to do this? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. So... 
This is, was the amazing fact about the year 2000. Okay. If you didn't know what I just told you, you say, well, of course it's a leap day. It's divisible by four. Right. No, you know how rare that leap day is? It's a century year divisible by 400. Right. That gets a leap day. 1900 didn't have a leap day. 1800 didn't have a leap day. 1700 didn't have a leap day. So no day put in. Okay, 1600 did because that was right after. Well, it, yeah, it, just it just happened. 1582 is when it exactly. happened. Exactly. So 1600 still got the leap day put Behold in. Behold the Gregorian calendar. Look at that. What a mess. No. That, <laughs> wait, wait. The Jesuit priests figured that out without a telescope. Oh, that's amazing. Telescope was not yet invented. So they just looked up at the night sky to yes, do that? Yes, and made measurements. And made measurements. Yes. Wow. Yes. Now that's impressive. There you go. Yeah. So, uh, so the leap day simply makes up for the fact that we don't count years by whole numbers of days. And we got to throw in a day every four years and not every hundred years, but then back again every 400 years. Now, if you're born on a leap day. Oh, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you, got, have to, you got screwed. Okay, so the real way to do birthdays is to know exactly where Earth is in its orbit. Right. And celebrate that moment, that moment. every year. Oh, there you go. And then you don't have to worry about what they call the day, what day of the week, right. what day of the month. It's it's the orbital time. How do you count in time around the sun? And that's how that's your birthday. That's your birthday. That's your and birthday. what also is weird is how precise we count the new year. Right. Let's go into Times Square or wherever. Right. And you see the countdown clock. Right. Okay. And then it hits midnight. But excuse me, it hits midnight for your time for your zone. Your time zone. <laughs> Right. There's 24 time zones. Exactly. All right. The 24 slices of the earth. Yeah. All right. So, and then they celebrate it and they celebrate it. So there's nothing magical about yeah, the we're moment. We're not all celebrating the new year. Correct. No, we're not, right. You're celebrating the new year where you are. Where you are. And that's it. Where, right, right. By an agreed upon count calendric system. Exactly. The time, time frame. And if you're in Times Square, you probably missed it because you were peeing in a bottle. <laughs> That means it's time to end this yes, explainer. Yes, it is. Okay. okay. <laughs> On that note. On that note. This has been an ex yet another explainer. Yes. The Leap Day. More than you ever cared to freaking know about it. Neil deGrasse Tyson here, your personal astrophysicist. With Chuck, keep looking up. Keep looking up.